Hey guys, Angela, owner of Healthy Body Bakery. I look a fright, so I will not be in this video much. Kelsey took me on a hike today, and I had to carry the baby pack. It was about 30 pounds uh, with baby in the pack, um, and I'm out of shape. But Kelsey, Kelsey never looks a fright. Um, so uh, we're going to do the spillet bread video. When I got here, I tasted the bread. Man, she has nailed this. I'm hoping that uh, this is simple enough for me to duplicate at the bakery so we can make our sandwiches with this bread because it rocks. And it is 100% spelt bread. Um, spelt dark rye, two of my favorite ancient grains to use. Um, so we're going to get this rock and I'm going to turn this video around and uh, go from there. So I'm in Virginia with uh, my daughter, Kelsey Rose Walker, not sour. And um, her and I were the ones that did the Appalachian Trail. Um, we have fell in love with health from the time she was about 11 years old. She was my helper in the kitchen, and now she has bypassed me. Does everything in the kitchen better than I do for the most part. Um, and I am quite a little bit jealous. She has nailed a bread recipe. Uh, for whatever reason, I have not been gifted enough to do so. I make weapons. Ancient grains are very hearty and dense. And so I was really tickled for her to nail a 100% ancient grain recipe with a 100% with spell. So what made you want to try the recipe, Kels? My husband loves bread. Okay. And I try not to eat wheat. Yeah, we're going to use a spatted spell this time. Um, I, I have done this one. It definitely doesn't rise as nicely. Um, it's also helping us in stock. So. so these are all the ingredients you use? Yes. Yes, this is it. What's important is a work surface. I like to work on a silicone mat. So first you do the dry stuff. Without the salt. The first two things is that's about 200. Shoot, 2,000 years ago, right? They didn't have scales or measuring cups or refrigerators. Pastries they, or souffles here. So. They stone ground their, their grains in a... One packet instant yeast. What do you call the stone? Was it pestle? What's that thing called? The grinder? Stone? Or pestle? Yes. yes. Brain fart. Instant or fast acting. Synonymous. These are your first two ingredients. But you mix these. So that is just 500 grams of spilt grain and rapid yeast. 500 grams of spelt grain, one packet of rapid rise yeast, and how much sea salt? 10. 10 grams of sea salt. Um, Time for the wet ingredients. Now, before you pour the wet ingredients, I gotta make sure you have to create what's called a flour well. Uh, you can do this with anything. I like to do it with a spatula. You basically just kind of create like a little, a little kind of hole. So, wet ingredients are next. You got two tablespoons of light olive oil. I will say I did use extra virgin the first time. It's all I had. Came out just fine. I think it's a flavor thing, but I like olive oil, so. I always do the oil trick for anybody back at home. I always do the oil before the honey because honey is sticky. So now I've got a well-oiled tablespoon. Nice. And then, boop. Nice. Right into the wet ingredients. So you just pour them all in at once. What sometimes will happen is you get some honey stuck at the bottom. So my little well spatula. Get that last little bit of honey into there. My flowers not wanting to. I've made too big of a well. Now it's not getting the stuff on the sides. So just bring it in a little bit. Stir until you get a nice dough ball. From here. You move to a lightly floured work surface, which is why I like the silicone. It just keeps me from getting flour all over my kitchen. Bring this off. Should have had these off prior. You knead for 10 minutes. This is probably the most tedious part of the whole thing. You literally sit and play the masseuse roll. 
We massage our bread. For about 10 minutes. Um, if I... Guess what? I'm not going to leave you on here for 10 minutes, so... Yeah. Nice little dough ball. Let's look at our dough ball up close. Oh, pretty dough ball. Back. You have to shape it today. Let's put it back in the bowl. Okay. Make it as good tight as possible. Doesn't have to be crazy, crazy, but enough to. And you sing to your bread. Ready, Rosalyn? Mm -hmm. Some of you have asked why I don't do bread. Um, I love a healthy bread. And if I can get this recipe and make it simple, and I, I might just start doing that for the sandwiches. But it is a 24-hour process at best. And my gift from my past and my love affair with cake, I could have, before I found dark rye grain, I could have and should have started a, a cake on in this group. Hello, my name's Angela. Hi, Angela. It's been three hours since I've had cake. I could have ate the nastiest, you know, nothing against Walmart, but the Crisco frosting. I love cake, and I love frosting. I just eat the cake for the frosting. Um, so, bread is second, third. Without frosting. Um, right? My daughter says not even a cake without frosting. Um, it's just a muffin, right? <laughs> sweet, sweet bread? It's sweet bread, right? So that's part of it, and um, but I am excited for this recipe. You can see I'm gonna turn the uh, turn the camera around. If you've been paying attention, how much this has risen? Can I take the top off, guys? Mm -hmm. I'm see, uh... Wow! Look at that butte, man. Oh, I wish my camera had smell on it. Scratch and sniff. So basically, we had to get this. We had to let it rise. Under the circumstances, um, it took overnight and then another six, seven hours. So the next step is to, it's called punching it down. And you can use, you know, any flour you want. Obviously, if you want to make a spilled bread, probably just stick a spilled flour because um, the dough will absorb. And then we got about an hour break, not break, but another hour of downtime between this kneading process and the um, best part, baking it. And you want to form a nice round ball, best you can, because you know however well you form it is kind of how well it's gonna, gonna bake um, for you. You wanna let the bread, we're gonna let this bread now set and proof for about an hour. Uh, or until the, the dough doubles in size, that's what you're looking for. Um, if you use a sprouted spelt flour, it might not quite double. If you use a regular spell, it should double in size. It should take, might take a little bit longer than an hour if you let your bread rise in the fridge overnight. Um, we tried to let it rise in the, in the fridge, um, didn't do it, so we did take it out and let it thaw for quite some time. But if your bread's still pretty cold, uh, it might take longer than that hour of proving time to double in size. So, cool. Do one deep slash. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the crack here. Nice deep slash there. Does it look like a good deep slash to you? Mm-hmm. I'll transfer this to the cookie sheet. And as soon as I do that, I pour the cold water into the roasting pan that's been sitting at the bottom. Now, obviously, the roasting pan's really hot. It's been in the oven. You're gonna get that burst of steam that's gonna come up. Are you eating your protein? Is that an egg? <gasps> oh, what are you doing? Baby just woke up from a nappers. Now letting Kelsey, uh, oh, he's too tired. Oh. Hmm. Eggers. We yeah, love it's a good. Oh, nice catch, Mom. Pull the water out. I just pour kind of my bath on the side and. Nice, nice, nice. Shut, 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 shut. That's that, and we're gonna set the oven 
for 15 minutes. Got it. Right. Three and generations. And after 15 minutes, we're going to drop that down to 400 and turn the loaf around. Now, you're supposed to bake, um, after you rotate the pan, at 400 for, for about another 17 to 20 minutes. Looking good. All right, so oh I'm, yeah! It's oh my goodness, it looks so good. Pretty hard, so I'm get just get in my belly. I'm, so, ooh, do we get to cut it? Let's here cut this go. uh, goose eggs out here and make it look pretty. Wow! That is sprouted spelt bread. Mm. That's so good. No, I think it's great. Try that. And when I um make sandwiches. It's good. Mm -hmm. Three generations in the kitchen cooking. Got my hands. Kitchen baker. Love you. you I want to be on the camera. If you can't tell, Kelsey's and my personalities are totally different. She is valedictorian of her class. And I gotta ask her about grammar questions. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you don't gotta agree that quick. <laughs>